So in this video, I'm about to review several different kinds of Asian ramen noodles. Are you guys ready? All right, let's get it. First candidate right here, the Shin Ramen Noodle with the sexy ass red packaging, the gourmet spicy flavor. Inside of the packaging, we have the spicy flavor soup base with the vegetable mix. Are you guys ready for this flavor? All right, let's cook it. Cut to a perfect color. Now let's see how it tastes like. Mmm, real spicy. Pro tip, whenever you have this kind of ramen noodle that's in a soup, always eat it with a spoon because in that way you can take in a soup as you slurp the noodles. And the soup is where most flavor lay at and you do not want to miss out on these flavors. For this ramen noodle, I'll give it a 7 out of 10 rate because me personally, I love spicy food. Alright, let's jump on to the next one. Sam Yen Korean hot chicken flavor ramen noodle, two times extra spicy. Came with a container so we can save some time from washing dishes after eating it. Let's see what's inside. Inside we have a packet of spicy sauce and a packet of sesame seeds for garnishment. Let's cook this joint right now. As opposed to the Shin Ramen, this hot chicken ramen noodle is completely drained of water. The flavor sauce is only blended with the noodle itself, making it extra spicy and flavorful, which is the way I prefer it to be. Now this is my favorite part, which is the eating. Oh. This is spicier than the Shin Ramen noodle at an exponential level. If you don't eat spicy food already, please do not try this at home. And if you don't like the burning sensation on your butthole the next day during a bowel movement, do not try this at home either. Me personally, I will give it an 8 out of 10. Although I know a lot of you guys probably give it a 2 out of 10 just because y'all hating on spicy food. Alright, let's jump on to the next one. Right here we have the chicken flavored Tokyo Mini Instant Noodle. A product of Japan. As you guys can see on the cover, it says just add hot water. Instead of having flavor packets inside, the noodle itself is seasoned. So all you need to do is some hot water to bring out the flavor into the ramen noodle soup. Can't wait to try it. Mmm, just look at that. Don't you think these noodles look extra cute in the mug? I like it because the soup is savory. But don't be sipping on this every afternoon though. Because you do not want to catch this high blood pressure. These noodles are also amazing because you can just eat them off the bed without adding anything. Mmm, mmm. I like it even better than the soup. You want some? For this noodle, I'll also give it an 8 out of 10. What's next on the list? We got the Indomie hot and spicy flavored stir fry noodles, aka Mi Goreng, aka the noodle that make your mouth slurp even in your sleep. This instant noodles right here have six different flavor sachets, which is the most flavor sachets we've seen in ramen noodles we tested so far. We got the seasoning oil and a soya sauce, making sure the noodle is extra juicy. Also, we got the minced fried onion, adding a little crunchy crunchy to our springy noodle. Also, we have the seasoning powder and chili powder to be blended with the noodle as well. Let's cook this up. Beautifully executed Migo Rain right here. Now let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Real flavorful. The savoriness, the spiciness, also the fried minced onion giving it a little crunchy bites. Perfection. If for the rest of my life I can only have five different kinds of instant noodles, this will be one of them. One bad thing about this noodle is you have to eat this noodle immediately after you cook them because once you blend the noodle in with the sauces the seasonings the noodle gets dry very easily if this noodle doesn't go dry this quickly i wish when i was in high school my mom could pack this into my lunchbox every day i'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. next up uh, we got the unif artificial roasted beef flavored instant noodles this one is from china and is one of the most popular kinds of ramen noodles in china you can find this at almost every corner store or supermarkets. I've had this multiple times, but let me show you guys what's inside. Inside we have the seasoning powder, the vegetable flakes, and the sauce packet. Altogether, they are supposed to create a roasted beef flavor inside of the ramen noodle soup. Let's try it out. 
Look at that beautiful crimson red color in the soup. I'm already smelling the flavor. Mmm. Mmm. That umami flavor, that roasted beef flavor without the presence of actual beef, that chili oil, the MSG, that mmm, everything. It's the type of ramen noodle that you will crave for the most at night. Mm, I just love that feeling when that flavorful, warm ramen noodle soup roll down your esophagus and reach deep down into your soul, giving you a peace of mind. I'll give this ramen noodle an 8.5 out of 10 as well. Let's see if the next ramen noodle have any competition against this one. Right here we have the Xi'an Kou noodle, aka Liangpi. It's an actual dish from Xi'an province in China. And this is the instant noodle version of it. As you guys can see in the illustration, the noodles are a little wider than the regular noodle you will see. Let's pop this back open and see what's inside. As you guys can see on the top, we have the specialty spicy sauce. At the bottom, this is a water packet, which can be used to dilute the spicy sauce to your personal preference. And our main character, the noodle right here, let's get to cooking. Oh hell yeah, it's that Xi'an cold noodle, even though the temperature is cold, I know that flavor is hot by just looking at it. Let's give it a try and see if it tastes as succulent as it looks. Mm. Mm. Let's now talk about the flavor first. Let's talk about the texture of the noodle. The noodles are so springy, I feel like I'm chewing on some trampoline right now. Mmm. Mmm. The type of spiciness this noodle has is nothing like buffalo hot wing sauce or uh, Texas Pete hot sauce or any, any hot sauce you have, you have had in your entire life. This is nothing like that. This is what we call the mala flavor. The special Chinese spicy taste. I fought with this noodle. Mm. Mm, 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 This ramen noodles right here, I'll give it an 11 out of 10. Even though Chinese people do not celebrate Christmas, but if we do, I wanna see this Xi'an cold noodles right underneath my Christmas tree. All right, let's jump on to the next noodle. It's that UNIF 100 instant noodles again, but this time it's coming back with the artificial beef with sauerkraut flavor. Let's bust this purple packaging open and see what's inside. We got the sauerkraut packet, the seasoning mix, the sauce packet for the soup base. I'm excited to see the chemical reaction that's gonna happen in my soup. All right, I'm not even gonna lie, this chemical reaction smells pretty good, but we're just gonna go ahead and see how it reacts to my taste buds. All right, let's get it. This is a little too sour for me. You can taste the sourness of the sauerkraut. What makes this noodle good is that the sourness this noodle soup has is kind of addictive. The first sip, you're like, mmm, that's a strange taste. That's a strange sour taste. But the more you have it, the more you go like, mmm, 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 mmm. One more, one more. Mm, sorry. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's not going to be my favorite, but I fought with it. What's the next ramen noodle in the building? The only thing, the only thing that's stopping me from trying out all the ramen noodles I can in this world in one day is the motherfucking food coma, aka itis. Uh. This is the last instant noodle for the video, the Sam Yang spicy flavored noodle, the big bowl noodle soup version. Let's get it cracking. The good old spicy soup base, the veggie flakes, hot water is the only thing that's lacking, so let's add that shit in there. Let's get it. If anything I wanna teach you guys in this video will be follow the goddamn instructions when it comes to cooking ramen noodles. That's the simplest way to prevent fuck ups. That's the simplest way to cook a ramen noodle, a bowl of ramen noodle as beautiful as mine right here. And some of y'all can't even do that. But anyways, let's give it a try. Oh. Hmm. It's got a decent taste. It's got a little seafood taste to it. Let me have a taste of these meatballs. 
Oh, never mind. It's not meatballs. I think it's made made out of a vegetable or something, as you guys can see right here. This is the type of sensation the noodle is giving me. Compare my face to the taste buds. This is what the noodle does to my taste buds. It's like... You know what I'm saying? It's a mildly pleasant taste. The subtlety and the taste is what gets me in love with this noodle. Compared to that same yen hot chicken flavored ramen noodle I tried earlier on in this video, I like this way much better. Cause that one, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I just dump it out in the trash right after I filmed it because it's simply too spicy for me. I literally told myself I'm getting too old to eat a, a ramen noodle as spicy as that. But this one, definitely an eight out of 10 for me. All right, so this is the end of my Asian ramen noodle taste test video. This is not over though, because there's probably 100, 200, 300 more Asian ramen noodles for me to try out. And I guarantee you, I got more videos like this incoming. My mission is to inculture motherfuckers taste buds.